uh, sorry about uh, uh, stopping the last video abruptly. Uh, I had to go because my son Joel was crying. So we started here. Uh, if you have watched my first video, scientific form uh, part one. So I was explaining uh, this is an example of standard form. And to change this into ordinary form, this is what you do. 3.67 is 367 out of 100. Now you may be wondering how could I write in this step. Now to understand that step, one thing you should understand is say <coughs> any number has a numerator and a denominator. Say if it is phi times half, uh, I should use a different pen. Okay, suppose it's phi times half. Phi times half, let me use blue, phi times half is same as phi over 1 times 1 over 2. Any number has a numerator and a denominator. And when you're multiplying fractions, you can multiply the top number. So this is same as phi times 1 is phi over 2, which is 2.5. I'll show this on the calculator because this should be very clear. Okay, so if you go phi times 1, 1 over 2 is same as, okay, let me do 1 ABC2. Okay, that's phi over 2. Okay, and if you want to change that into decimal, this is fraction to decimals, that is 2.5. Okay, and 2.5 is phi over 2. So, that's what I did. So what I'm saying is, yeah, in this example, I took this as 10 to the power of 5 over 1. And this, if you want to write the next step, this is 367 over 10 to the power 2 times 10 to the power 5 over 1. And then you can swap the numbers around. So this is nothing but the same. And you're multiplying numbers. And I hope you know how to simplify powers. So 10 to the power 5 divided by 10 to the power 2 is 5 minus 2 is 3. And that's how we got this number. So let me do one more example. Suppose if you have a number, uh, let me take one more example, say, of uh, scientific form. Suppose uh, you've got a number like this, 5.5. 671 times 10 to the power 4. Now this is a scientific form and if you want to change this into the ordinary form what you do is you first change this as 5.671 is nothing but 5671 out of 1000. Now this is how I remember this is you got three numbers after the decimal point. So this is phi, uh, so and 1000 has three zeros. That's how I pattern match and that's how I remember phi. Okay, let me show this on a calculator. So 5.671, if you want to change that into uh, equal and then if you change it into decimal that is same as 5.671, I'll do this again to understand 5.671, you press equal and then you press this fraction key, okay, or fraction, this is called fraction to decimal, so this is 5671 out of, or 5671 out of 1000, okay, this times 10 to the power 4. And this is, this is over 1, and this, these two numbers will swap over. So this 5671 of 5671 over 10 to the power 4 over, this is 10 cube, or 10 to the power 3. Now, for those who don't understand how to do this, so this is nothing but uh, 10,000 over 1,000. So 10,000 goes in. Oh, okay, so let me explain this for those who struggle. This uh, this is, uh, uh, let me do more steps. This is 10,000 over 1,000. Okay, let me do one more step. 
this is 5671 times 10,000 is 1,000 times 10 over 1,000 or 10,000 has 10 1,000 that's why it's called 10,000 so this 1,000 and 1,000 gets cancelled which is 5671 times 10 which is 56710 which is which is 56710 so I'll show this on a calculator but you need to know the process now if you want to do in one if you don't want to do all these steps this is same as 5671 or 5671 times 10 to the power 4 minus 3 which is 5671 times 10 which is 556710 okay now how can you check this on the calculator so let me scroll this up so this question if you if you press 5.671 times 10 to the power 4 10 to the power 4 is nothing but 56710 okay so now you may be wondering why do we need the scientific form what's what's the scientific form about so if you let us go back this is a very important reason we can write huge numbers or small numbers in an economical manner I explain I told you I'll explain this so let me explain that how to write economical a number in an economical form or what's the use of this suppose if you have a number I want you to read the number there's nothing wrong in writing like this but at times it can be it's a huge number this is I hope you can read this this is 12 million okay this is 12 million six zeros now the same number 12 million can be written in the scientific form or the standard form like this <coughs> which is can you understand this is 12 times how many zeros do you have this is 10 to the power 6 okay so let me show you that if you if you do 10 to the power 6 10 to the power 6 will give you six zeros okay okay so this 10 to the power 6 so this is this 12 can be written as 1.2 okay 1.2 times 10 this 12 is nothing but 1.2 times 10 okay so let me show you that 1.2 times 10 is 12 okay so this 12 I have written as 1.2 times 10 to the power 1 times 10 to the power 6 so now this is same as 1.2 times 10 to the power 7 now this is nothing but 12 million so can you see how efficient this is so this is when you have this in the scientific form as let me let us go back so why is this scientific form the first number or the number in the standard form is written as a number between the first number should be a number between 1 and 10 multiplied by a power of 10 so let me go back so this is the first number and this is between 1 and 10 okay 1.2 is between uh, 1 and 10 and the next number is a power of 10 and this is a scientific form so let's let me show you on the calculator so if you go 1.2 times 10 to the power 10 7 you can do this I'll, I'll teach you how to do this in a different way equal is 12 million three and three six zeros if you want to do this directly you can use this exp key you can go 1.6 e e is understood to be 10 okay times 10 if you type in 7 just like that it will give you so this calculate understand this as 10 to the power 7 okay I'll repeat it if you go 1.2 exp which is nothing but 10 to the power times 10 to the power 7 if you type in like this the calculator understands that is uh, 
1.2 times 10 to the power 7. Okay. Uh, now, uh, let us do uh, one more question. Okay. So, suppose you have uh, suppose you have a number like this, a huge number, say, I want you to read this. Okay, so this is 450 million. 450 million. Okay, 1 billion is 1000 million. So this is I'll write, if I want to write this in the scientific form, this is 45 times how many zeros? 6 and 1, 7, 10 to the power 7. I want to write 45 between 1 and 10, which is same as 4.5 times 10 to the power 1, times 10 to the power 7. So just to explain this, let me underline this. So this 45 and this are the same okay I'll show you 4.5 times 10 to the power 1 or 10 is 45 okay and now you can simplify this too okay so this is 10 to the power 1 times 10 to the power 7 is 4.5 times 10 to the power 8 okay so let's check the answer if you go 4.5 e to the power 8, isn't it? Yeah. 8, if you press 8 there, that is 450 million. See you in the next